Hello? Who's walking? Is the dog? Are we really gonna have to fucking prosecute a dog? <laughs> Visitor's room. <sighs> it's not coming. It's not coming, sir. How long does he intend to keep us waiting? How now, Mr. Edgeworth? There's no need to get your cravat in a twist. Ethan Rook's murder. Two days after the incident, we visited the detention center. Naturally, we were hoping to meet with the defendant, Horace Knightley. His trial was set to begin the next day, with me serving as the prosecutor. Still, he is rather late. You there, do you know what's going on? Uh, it certainly is strange. I'll try calling him one more time. It's terrible. It's nightly. He's been murdered. What? What do you say? Murdered. Inside the detention center. Mr. Edgeworth, let's go check it out. You there. Take us to the crime scene. Post haste. <laughs> yes, sir. Up, up, up. Nightly's not in his cell. I thought he was being held here. What are you doing, sir? It's this way. Where are you taking us, pal? That's this door is the... Ah, oh, it's the prison. Prison? What were the small rooms back there? Those cells we just passed are part of the detention center. They're used for holding suspects temporarily while they await their trial. What lies ahead is a facility that serves a completely different purpose. It's where the criminals who have been declared guilty serve out their sentence, pal. It's the one place a great thief does not want to end up. Okay. Open the door now, please follow me. Jesus Christ. There's no mistaking it, Knightley's dead. There's no way. Like he was killed here. Moreover, he was murdered inside a prison inside the prison walls. What exactly did how exactly did this happen? March twenty seventh, ten thirty two AM. I can't believe it. Someone uh like uh, believe something like this would happen to Mr. Knightley. Yes, I can't believe it either. But the scene you see before you is an unmistakable reality. Besides, wasn't Mr. Knightley supposed to be in the detention center? Yeah. Indeed he was. Knightley hadn't had his trial yet. Before suspects found guilty, they were detained in the detention center's holding cells. They only enter the prison after they have received a guilty verdict. Knightley should not have been moved in here. You think he passed through those giant doors that we went through earlier, sir? No. He'd have had to broken out. Huge metal doors and a long passageway separate the prison and the detention center. As a suspect, Knightley wouldn't have been able to pass through. Okay. They went through that passageway. They brought him through there. What happened to Knightley? In order to solve this mystery, we must first investigate the crime scene. Look, I think the, whatever, the dog thing over here. That section of the room is covered in dirt. The dirt is soft as footprints, sir. And too many footprints. It won't be easy to identify them all. Though the forensic arrives, we probably shouldn't tamper with this area. Detective, please don't trip and fall on the dirt. I'll be careful, sir. I don't want to get my favorite coat dirty. 
I'm more worried that you'll mess up the footprints. Thank you. We'll rest until we've suspect, uh, stolen every <laughs> suspicious looking nook and cranny. Indeed. There's quite a large area to investigate. Press the Y button to switch scenes. We'll rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Fucking K. Mm. It's a pulley. Is that used for prison labor too? Looks like it. There's something I want to ask you. I, I want to ask you. Don't even think about dangling on the hook. How do you know that's what I wanted to do? Somehow I had a feeling. Oh, this cage. It's a cage inside the cage. It's a cage inside the cage. There's the cage. Pri that is the prison. It's like cageception. I believe the correct term is prison cell. They're the same thing. You need to look more at the essence of things. Actually, it's more important to get the correct information. Whip. There's some colorful sheets. Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking at. They're the most eye-catching thing in the room. They don't fit in the with the prison. There's a whip placed on top of the sheets. Reminds me of the whip lady. Maybe she left her whip here. Hmm, I doubt she'd ever leave her whip behind. There was a rope near the body as well. By the way, my special talent. If it's about rope escapes, there's no need for that now. Oh, she want to show it off that badly? I want to see it. I wouldn't mind watching her get tied up and get out of it. There's a wash basin over here. Are there any clues that could be useful to this case? I don't smell any signs of treasure. I'm searching for clues here, not treasure. There are a bunch of strange tools here. I don't see anything out of place. I'm kind of picking up the scent of animals. Do you have a special smelling abilities or something? No, it's just a feeling. But I can smell the scent of treasure. I'm going to need to lock up all of my valuables in a safe. Come on, Mr. Edgeworth. I wouldn't steal your valuables. So you would steal someone else's valuables. That's sweet. Thank you. There are a bunch of strange tools here. I don't see anything out of place. I'm kind of picking up this son of it. Okay. But I mean, it's different. It looks like there's like a metal pipe that's missing. It like got broke, snapped off. Horace Knightley. Murdered right before his trial. Let me take a closer look. Chessboard. Huh? What's this? Mr. Edgeworth has something similar in his office. It's a portable chess board. It was probably the victim's. Uh, Mr. Knightley enjoyed chess, right? He was probably using it to pass the time in the detention center. <sighs> Open up. Some glove with oil on it? It's a rubber glove. Yeah, there's no mistake. It's a rubber glove. How come there's only one? Let me take a closer look. Covered in mud, up to the wrist. Maybe some, uh, maybe some, maybe something was playing. Someone was playing with the mud in the prison. I want to get on that action. Get on your own time when we're not investigating a case. Ooh. For inmate use. Dun -dun. It says for inmate use. It must mean prisoner used this glove. Yes, that's what I was thinking. And there's blood up to the knuckles. Fingers of the glove are covered in blood. This glove was dropped after the, uh, after the pool of blood formed. Why is that? If it was on the floor before the pool of blood had formed, the blood would have formed an outline around the glove. I see. The blood would have only gotten on the edges of the glove. This glove was discarded after it was covered in blood. That must mean the killer left it behind. Indeed. It's highly probable. At the very least, the person who dropped this saw the body. You there! What is it, sir? Do you recognize this glove? 
Yes, sir. The inmates use these for prison labor. That's odd. Rubber gloves are usually kept in the inmates' rooms. They're strictly regulated, so you can't just take them out. Indeed, there are no signs of any rubber gloves in the room. Tarpon rope. It's covered in a, with a dirty sheet. There's a rope on the top of the sheet. It was Horace nightly tied up with this rope. I think he was wrapped up in that sheet. It was tied up. And then they brought him here, killed him. So, good night. Let's take a look under the sheet we might be able to find. Yikes, the sheet is bright red. Exactly. He was killed previous. And then was transported here. This appears to be bloodstains. Still might be able to find something. Let's search this area a little more closely. Hmm. There's something on his finger. Let's have a closer look. Oh, it looks like an expensive ring. Don't steal it. What? I didn't do anything yet. It really is Pride's Red, sir. These appear to be bloodstains. Got a rope with a bloody sheet. There might be something else. Yes, yeah, so let me check this area again in case I looked over something. The blood from his neck is stained to his brace bright red. The cause of death was most likely from his neck wound. He probably died instantly. He couldn't even cry out in, he couldn't even cry out in pain. Hmm. There's small bumps on his head. Are these bruises? Maybe after he was stabbed in the neck, he fell back in his head. I wonder. At this point in time, there are too many unknowns. Okay, do you have your digital camera with you? I'd like the detective to take a photo of the body. Will you let him borrow it? Sure thing. Here, Gummy. Thanks, pal. All right, I'm taking the picture, sir. Still, he's wearing some awfully dirty clothes. Hmm. There appear to be dirt stains in several places. He's wearing those clothes even though, though they're dirty. It's just like me, sir. Detective, I hope you, rea you realize that not, not everyone shares your lack of hygiene. I think it was drug somewhere. But I don't have the logic for that. No, we don't care. Some rubber glove. I don't know if any of these changed. And that's only one. And mud stains on implants and two. There's a possibility that the killer left this behind. Okay. You, you there? Yeah. What is it, sir? Blah blah blah. Just want to make sure nothing. Blood stains on neck. Wearing some awful dirty clothes. Dirty clothes. No. I think that's everything. I can't believe. It's a reservation form that lists inmates who are scheduled to use this room. Their numbers are in here. Probably their prison numbers. I'd hate to be called a number. Like T4137. And it says why we were born with a name. I'd be I'd rather be called Great Thief or the Terminator. What about your name? I have no idea what else I'm supposed to look at. Oh my god. missing something. I already checked this area earlier, but I never heard to take another look. Like he says that, but I think I'm missing something. There's nothing of interest here. Eggs bright red. Bloodstains. Uh, can I talk with the dog? Is there anything out of place? Yes, sir. If I had to say. What is it? There's a dead body over there. Yep, that's definitely out of place. 
you notice anything else out of place, please be sure to tell me. You're useless. Oi. Ah. Uh, maybe I missed something actually over here. I need to check this area. Fuck. Oh, it's bully. Okay. Just bully. Wait, is that blood? It's like slightly red there. No, fuck. Okay, whatever. Check out. Um. Same thing. I don't know why there's dirt here. I didn't talk to Kara. Yeah, what's up? So this is what a prison's like. It's been very educational. You're more enth enthusiastic than I'm gathering it information. At gathering information. Mr. Edgeworth, you need to work harder at gathering information. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble when the time comes. I don't think the time that you're talking about will ever come. But I knew need to gather informa more information. In order to complete my logic, I need to get in caps the killer. Tell me about this. I believe that even a great thief has rights. For example, we have the right to choose what we want to steal. I guess she doesn't consider this valuable. God damn it, okay. Tell me about it! There's something I'm missing, and it's probably, like, really obvious. No. Over here? No. It's on the body, but I just can't notice it. In his head? They said there are bumps on the head. He was drug after he was stabbed. I think that's obvious. I don't fucking know. Ugh. Can't connect these. I mean, like that's the only thing I can fucking do at this point. Wow. I spend too much time not doing that. The sheets are stacked here. I have a very distinctive pattern. It's the same as the bloodstained sheet. That's right. Okay. Don't steal my lines like that. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you shouldn't get caught off guard like that. I'll never lose my edge as the great thief. I thought she was on hiatus. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank God. Well, we've collected quite a bit of evidence. <laughs> With the three of us here, it's a piece of cake, right, Gummy? That's right, pal. We're an invincible trio. It's too early to start celebrating. It's just something we haven't found yet. What haven't we found yet, sir? The murder weapon was missing from the crime scene. The murder weapon that took a victim's life has not been found yet. Oh, no, you mentioned it. You're absolutely right, sir. Detective, get your act together. Isn't that the most basic of the basics? I'm sorry, sir. Don't worry about it, Gummy. I didn't notice it either. It's not much of a consolation. In this prison, dangerous objects that should that could be used as weapons are regulate they're strictly regulated. It'd be quite dangerous if the inmate got their hands on them. I mean someone brought it in from the outside. Tending a murder weapon and uh, carrying it around is not an easy task. I see, you have a point. What was the murder weapon? But where did it go? That could be the key to solving this case. I assume something sharp. Like a type of knife. Huh? Your visitor is here already? Oh my god. Sorry to barge in like this. This is the crime scene. You're... Huh? You! Aren't you? The piercing gaze. The furrowed brow. It's been a long time. Mr. Shields. 
Yes, yes. That frilly thing around your neck. That stiff greeting. There's no doubt about it. Prosecutor, Manfred, Bon Karma. Fancy meeting you here. What? What are you saying, pal? Mr. Edwards, not that old man. Detective, it's fine. Oh! It's you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I thought you looked a bit young. <laughs> you two are so similar. Looks like your Uncle Ray got you two mixed up again. You never change. How many years has it been since we last saw each other? I don't know. I've already forgotten. Your Uncle Ray has been overseas these past few years. But you know, there's something I still haven't forgotten about you and your betrayal. I'm getting some bad vibes over here. Do you know this guy, Mr. Edgeworth? Allow me to introduce him to you. Raymond Shields, attorney at law. Ace attorney, Ray Shields at your service. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. I like the fucking air quotes. I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, sir. K. Faraday, nice to meet you. I'm a great thief. Ah, but I'm currently on hiatus. Great thief? Oh, wow. Well, that sounds romantic. How oh, wonderful. Oh, Mr. Shields, you get it, right? I'm currently recruiting new members. The registration forms are easy to fill out. Yes, please. That's one day Uncle Ray would love to join your little gang. Sorry, but we're only accepting bright, cheerful, and energetic girls. Let's see, that's too bad. <sighs> well, how about a Huggins then? A sign as a sign of affection. No. <sighs> Gaston, <laughs> this isn't Europe after all. Mr. Shields, what are you doing here? Kay could get, uh, Edward could get a hug. Oops, uh, uh, that's right, uh, sorry, sorry. Preventing the attorney from investigating the crime scene is the Von Karma way, isn't it? This dude killed her. Hey, you've been going on about Von Karma this and Von Karma that. What's your problem, pal? Detective, restrain yourself. This can't be helped. Huh? Mr. Shields, are you the defense attorney for Horace Knightley? That's right. What should I say? I was his defense attorney. Mr. Shields is the defense attorney. If Knightley had not been murdered... I would have been going up against him in court. I should listen to what he has to say. Why? This dude's the murderer, though. Because it has to be someone from the outside that did it. And if he was showing up, it's definitely him. Since you received the request to represent the victim, that must mean... Yes, your Uncle Ray was supposed to meet with Knightley Boy. This was I. I had planned to meet with him, but then uh, we had heard the report of the dead body. Ivan uh, brought him a California roll. Mr. Shields, you can bring food into the detention center. Is that ah? Oh, is that right? Well then, would you like it? No thanks. Still, to think the prosecutor actually meets with the defendants. All defendants are guilty. Wasn't that the von Karma way? This is a thing of the past. <laughs> is that right? So you sure you don't you don't want it? I told you I don't want it. What the fuck is this dude on? Did you meet with Nightly? <laughs> we met yesterday. They called me over as soon as Nightly Boy was arrested. He's been quite hostile. Oh yeah, you mentioned you. He talked about how you interfered with his plans. He probably said some nasty things about me. Even if he hates me, I'm fine with it. I mean, the two of us had a great time talking about you. Mr. Shields, you also talked about me. I frequent the visitor's room here quite often. It's been a while since I had such a good time. <laughs> so you're a regular at this prison. Hey now, do 
don't get the wrong idea. I'm not here as an inmate. I'm here to visit an old acquaintance of mine. We usually meet in the visitor's room. But I've also been in here before. And I should ask him about this room. This room was the it was where the body was found. Do you know anything about it? Ah, this room, eh? Here's a pop quiz for our prodigy prosecutor. Which of these three is the name of this room? Wait, what? Entertainment room? Entertainment room. Whoa, Prosecutor Edgeworth! Sees this place as an entertainment room. And why not? There are plenty of toys here. Well, let's reveal the correct answer. Behind door number one, Prosecutor Ed Edgeworth's answer is... Wrong! Correct answer is the workroom. All three choices were wrong. I hate it when he does that. <laughs> he listed out the fucking choice. <laughs> the inmates carry out various kinds of prison labor in here. It also serves a rehab program, allowing them to receive job training in prison. So how do you, they monitor this room? Who is in charge of the keys to the entrance? Prosecutor Edgeworth, even your Uncle Ray doesn't know how I have all the answers. Hey, you there. Can you tell us? No, sir. This room doesn't have any locks and keys. Instead of the locks, the doors are equipped with sensors. What do you mean by that? All the prison inmates are wearing electronic bracelets. When a bracelet passes through the door, it activates the sensor and... Bing bo An alarm was out. A certain amount of time has passed. The bracelets will emit a painful shock. The bracelets are tempered with... So I've made an electric shock three times more powerful. That's terrifying. It's to ensure that the inmates follow the rules, although it seems a bit harsh. It seems a little barbaric. That's why whenever an inmate goes through a door, a guard has to accompany them to deactivate the sensor first. And that's that. Did any of the inmates use this workroom today? In the past few days, no one has used this room. I'm sure of it. So not one inmate has entered this room today. Hmm. Doubting. If that's the case, it raises a contradiction with the crime scene. There's something in this crime scene that should not exist. The glove. I'll use my powers of deduction and inspection the crime scene again. Come here, body. So that could have been planted to make it look like it was. Uh, like an inmate that did it. Rubber glove used by the inmates. It's unnatural for one to end up in this place. It's in direct contradiction with the evidence. Huh? Why is that? From what we just heard about the inner workings of the prison, the rubber gloves used by the inmates should not be present in this room. May present some evidence to support my reasoning. Points at glove. You! Stop right there. The inmates cannot freely enter this room. As they're wearing bracelets that set off the sensors. According to the guard, it seems that no inmates were scheduled to enter this room for today. However, a glo rubber glove used by the inmates were left here. There's a direct contradiction. And who left this rubber glove in here, sir? I don't know. Yet. However, it seems that this rubber glove is connected to our case. Neat. God, aside from the inmates and prison guards, does anyone else have access to this room? Oh, well, this is a prison facility after all. We inmates and prison guards come here. What's their shields? <laughs> what are you saying? There are others that come in here. Aside from inmates and prison guards, there's certain things that can enter this room. Are you talking about them? But there... Mr. Shields, what are these things that you speak of? Should be obvious. You came all the way here without seeing one, Prosecutor Edgeworth. You sure they can find them walking around the prison face the facility. Guard the dogs. See them once you leave this room, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Hey, you're just saying that to get Mr. Edgeworth to leave, pal. What? No? Uh, don't you trust me? Mr. Detective, you have a big body, but a small mind. What'd you say, pal? 
Detective Gumshoe. He's not wrong. Oh, sorry, sir. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what Uncle Ray has been talking about. 